हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग इन द पार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द व्हाट इज इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग व्हाट आर द एक्टिविटीज डन बाय द इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग द फंक्शंस ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग एट्सेट्रा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस Uh, about the uh, evolution of investment banking how uh, investment banking as a separate institution evolved and uh, separate uh, branch of uh, services evolved uh, we are going to see so uh, before that we are just going to take the re review what is investment banking so investment banking is a specific division of banking related to creation of capital for other companies investment bank does activities such as underwrites new debt and equities and other services for all types of uh, corporations investment bank also provide guidance to issue regarding the issue and placement of stocks in addition investment banks also help in the sale of securities mergers acquisitions and recognitions so they act as intermediaries between security issuers and investors and help new firm to go public so they either buy all the available shares at a price estimated by their experts and resell them to public or sell shares on behalf of the issuers and take commission on each shares so investment bankers helps corporations governments and other groups plan and manage financial aspects of large projects so investment banking is a special segment of banking operation that helps individual or organization to raise capital and provide financial consultancy services to them so in the last lecture we have uh, discussed uh, the various activities uh done by the investment banking so let us discuss now uh the evolution of investment banking in the world so how it is started uh, as a separate uh, uh branch of banking as investment banking so the term investment bank gained popularity in the late 19th century and early 20th century and largely in relation to the us so investment banking services existed long before wall street also so most of the oldest investment banks started out as merchant trading in commodities such as spices silk metals and so on so in the uk whose capital still remain one of the biggest financial center in the world the term merchant bank used to describe an investment bank uh, before so it is the uh, in merchant banking services uh, which is the primary uh, primary nature of investment banking it is investment banking uh, it is uh, similar to the merchant banking in the 19th century saw the rise of several prominent banking partnerships such as those created by the rothschilds the beerings and the brons at this point investment banking had started to evolve into its modern form with banks underwriting and selling government bonds and uh, other things going to america uh, in the Amer america what happened it uh, was not long before investment banks emerged on the other side of the atlantic where the industry received a boost during the civil war when uh, banking houses were syndicated to meet the federal government's needs uh, for money to fund its war efforts so uh, the uh, investment banking or many banking houses combined together to finance the governments uh, for uh, the war efforts in the 18th uh, also saw the birth of some of the most famous investment banks some of which operate until uh, this day also such as jp morgan and goldman sachs 
in the 19th and beginning of the 20th century marked a dramatic expansion for the investment banking industry which is uh, benefited from the prosperous years following the first world war uh, with the period sometimes referred to as a golden age for investment banking uh, now uh, the situation arises uh, as the great depression this dramatic rise however was not without consequences so excessive market speculation and unsustainable uh, rise in stock prices uh, among other things triggered the market crash of 1929 which in turn sparked the great depression uh, from 1929 to 1933 the great depression was a difficult time for investment banks some of which were forced to merge to survive the crash also triggered more stringent regulation for the industry including the famous uh, glass tegall act of 1933 which required the separation of commercial banking from investment banking uh, jp morgan for example was forced to spin off its securities underwriting division to form uh, morgan stanley and company as an independent investment bank uh, second golden age the second half of the 20th century marked another uh, golden age for investment banks which benefited from a surge in deal making banks profited from uh, being advisors on mergers and acquisition as well as public offering of securities so this trend started changing in the 1980s when the focus shifted from deal making to trading so this process was underpinned by uh, advances in computer technologies which enabled a bank to use algorithms to develop the and execute trading strategies in the capital market profiting from small changes in the stocks prices the spirit of the times is perfectly captured in uh, oliver stone's uh, 1987 movies uh, of wall street so you can see this movie oliver stone's uh, uh, which is released in 1987 uh, all these things captured in that uh, movies the second golden age of investment banks continued in the 1990s characterized by the dot com boom and bubble the end of the decade however brought the repeal of glass steel gall uh, act which effectively removed the separation between wall street investment banks and commercial banks and it uh, exacerbated the financial crisis of 2007 the financial crisis which is started in 2007 and uh, um, became the severe in the 2008 the biggest hit uh, to investment banks since the great depression was uh, brought by the speculative bubble in housing prices in usa as well as uh, uh, over reliance on the sub uh, subprime mortgage lending which uh, damaged financial institutions globally and the effect of this financial crisis of 2008 we can see um, now also among the investment banks victim of the global financial crisis were uh, bear stearns and lehman brothers the biggest investment banks in the america lehman brothers bank uh, had the capital uh, of uh, several um, small countries gdp if we combine it then it can become the the capital of lehman brother bank was so high that the few small comp, uh, small countries uh, gdp if we combine uh, that much huge amount uh, that that huge capital was with lehman brother on the other side of the atlantic the uk government was forced to bail out royal bank of scotland and lloyds 
while uh, Barclays turned to the Middle East to raise capital privately. Uh, so the financial crisis triggered consolidation in the industry with JP Morgan and Chase acquiring uh, beer stunts while Bank of America snapped up uh, Merrill Lynch. On the stranger's tides, while the financial crisis now remain in history, its repercussions can still be felt today. One of the most notable consequences is the weakened dominance of the Wall Street, which however has partly facilitated the rise of new financial centers around the world, such as Singapore and Hong Kong, which are taking advantage of the economic boom in China and South Asia. Also, uh, much like in the wake of the Great Depression, banks are facing more stringent regulations such as a uh, stress test while uh, the UK for instance is looking to implement ring fencing rules uh, which similarly to the glass tilgall act uh, which is uh, passed in 1933 uh, in the time of great depression aim to separate lenders retail operation from riskier investment banking so glass steel Gold act uh, done this work in 1933 to separate the commercial banking from investment banking still despite the heavy hit from the financial crisis trust in the investment banking industry has started to creep back, back again uh, investment banks are also seeing their profit rise benefiting from the mergers and acquisitions frenzy seen in the past few years which is now soaring to pre-crisis pre levels again while even the best of experts would have a hard time uh, predicting where the industry is currently headed if the seemingly cyclical history of investment banking is anything to go by then another golden age might as well be on the cards so now uh, look at the history of investment banking in india the history of investment banking in india traces back to uh, when european merchant banks first established uh, trading houses in the region in the 19th century since then foreign banks uh, that is non-indian have dominated uh, investment and merchant banking activities in the country so uh, in the early 20th century large business houses uh, allowed a uh, suit by establishing managing agencies which acted as issue house for securities uh, promoters for new projects and also provided finance to greenfield ventures the peculiar uh, feature of these agencies was that their services were restricted uh, only to the companies of the group to which they belong a few small brokers also started rendering uh, merchant banking services uh, but there uh, there was limited due to their uh, small capital base so the origin of investment banking in india can be traced back to 19th a century when European merchant banks set up their uh, agency houses in the country to assist in the setting of uh, new projects. In 1970, in, in 1967, ANZ uh, Green, uh, uh, Grindledge Bank set up a separate merchant banking division to handle new capital issues. Uh, it was soon followed by Citibank which started rendering these services. The foreign banks uh, monopolized merchant banking services in the country. The banking committee which is established in uh, early, uh, early 1972 in its report in 1972 took note of this uh, with concern and recommended setting up of merchant banking institutions by commercial banks and financial institutions domestically in India. 
स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया वेंचर्ड इन टू दिस बिजनेस बाय स्टार्टिंग अ मर्चेंट बैंकिंग बिरियो इन 1972. इन 1972, आईसीआईसीआई बिकेम द फर्स्ट फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन टू ऑफर मर्चेंट बैंकिंग सर्विसेस जे एम फाइनेंस वॉज सेटअप बाय मिस्टर निमेश कंपनी एज एन एक्सक्लूसिव मर्चेंट बैंक इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री द ग्रोथ ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री वॉज वेरी स्लो ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड बाय नाइनटीन एटी दाय नाइनटीन एटी द नंबर ऑफ मर्चेंट बैंक रोज टू थर्टी थ्री एंड वॉज सेटअप बाय कमर्शियल बैंक्स financial institutions and private sector the capital market uh, witnessed some uh, buoyancy in the late 80s the advent of economic reforms in 1991 resulted in sudden spurt in both the primary and secondary market several uh, new players entered into the field the securities scam in may 1992 was a major setback to the industry several uh, le- leading merchant bankers both in public and private sector were found to be involved in various irregularities some of the prominent public sector players involved in the scam were uh, can bank financial services sbi capital markets andhra banks financial services as etc so these uh, um, found involved in the scam which is happened in 1992 by uh, a leading broker that uh, that is harshad mehta security scam so leading uh, this led to private sector players uh, involved in the scam included uh, fair growth financial services and champaklal investments and uh, finance that is CIFCO uh, the market turned bullish again in the end of 1993 after the uh, tainted shares problem was substantially resolved so there was a phenomenal surge of activity in the primary market the registration arms with the seb were uh, quite liberal the low entry barriers coupled uh, with uh, lucrative opportunities and uh, this all uh, uh, were resulted that uh, the most of the new entrants were undercapitalized with uh, little or no experts in merchant banking services and this resulted in poor quality services and due to this many investor suffer losses so lack of confidence in the market business resulted setback in the industry most of the small banks left market many foreign investment banks started entering in indian market uh, these banks has huge capital base global distribution capacity for their uh, service and expertise uh, but these banks were now new to indian markets many of the top indian merchants who has strong domestic uh, base started entering into ventures uh, which with foreign banks uh, such as dsp and uh, merrill lynch uh, kotak golden uh, goldman and sachs and jp morgans etc so friends that was the uh, uh, small history of the investment banking in the world and in india uh, this was the evolution of short evolution short review of evolution of investment banking thanks for watching write your um, name in the comment box see you in the next lecture